Ciao d'Italia. Greetings from Italy. Hello. Uh, today we're going to be doing mechanics of materials. So we got a nice problem here. Uh, I'll have you take a look at it. There is one missing piece of information, though, and that is Young's modulus, which I'll write here as 29,000 KSI. Um, so we got steel and the diameter of the beam there, or excuse me, the diameter of uh, the beam there is 0.2 inches. And we're trying to see how much the cable there stretches if it's under a 1,000 pound per foot load um, across the beam. And again, sorry, I messed up. Uh, 0.2 inches for the diameter of the wire, the cable. Okay, so let's start with what the given information I was like writing down what I have. So we, I wrote the diameter in terms of radius, so we got the radius is 0.1 inches. So therefore we can solve for the cross-sectional area of the cable, which is a circle, pi r squared, and we get 0 0.0314 inches squared. Cool, let's draw a free body diagram of the system here. We got, uh, I'm going to make the a distributed load acting as a single point load, and since it is a rectangle and it's an evenly distributed point or load, so the point load will be exactly halfway in between, so five feet and five feet. And we got the force from the cable there um, and the reaction forces um, by that support pin. Um, and I'll call the force by the cable FAB. Now uh, we're going to convert the 1,000 pounds per foot. And we're going to, for the distributed load, we have to make sure, since it's acting at a point load now, that we multiply by the number of feet, and that is 10 feet. So I converted pounds to 0 0.100, so we can just have kips um, at the end there, so one kip. And then, because uh, one, one, uh, yeah. So then what we do is with some moments about zero, and that, uh, we don't have to work, or excuse me, some moments at C, which equals zero. Um, and that means we can get rid of the reaction forces there. So I'm going to make clockwise positive, just because. And so we have 0 equals 1 kip force times a distance, which is 5 feet, because it's acting halfway across uh, the beam here from point C. And we're going to subtract, since that force would be going uh, counterclockwise. Um, and that will be the force uh, a, B, but only, remember the perpendicular component so that we'd have to do the component of that which is sine 30, the Y component, times the distance from C which would be a total of 10 feet and we would solve for FAB and that is 1 kip. So we now know what FAB is. Well we know that the strain, we're trying to figure out how much the uh, how much the material will stretch. How much will the cable stretch from this load? Well we know strain is the change in length over the initial length. So, we can rewrite that as finding for the change in length. That's what we're looking for, right? Delta L is how much it stretches when uh, it, it, when it is, um, has this distributed load. So we're looking for how much that length changes. So we can, re we can continue to solve for that. We know strain is force over, excuse me, uh, can be re rewritten by Hooke's law as uh, stress over Young's modulus, and we still have that L naught there, the initial length. And we know stress is force over area, so rewriting that, we have force over area, but we remember we still have the other components, so L naught over E. And we just simply plug in the numbers. We have everything we need. So one kip, we have the initial length, which is uh, 120 inches, which I wrote um, as 6 feet is 120 inches. I failed to write that at the top there, but it's given in the problem. It says it's uh, 6 feet to there. Uh, actually, that should have been given information I did not provide to you. I apologize, but that should be there. But it's not, so that's six feet there. And then uh, we have 0 0.0314 and the Young's modulus is uh, 29,000 KSI and the 0 0.0314 was the area. And we have to make sure we're doing the proper component for the length there, so we have that cosine 30. And then we get 0 0.152 for the change in length. So this when this beam has a 1,000 distri or excuse me, 100 pounds per foot distributed load, that means the length of that cable will stretch 0 0.152 inches when uh, undergoing that load. So I hope this video helped, and uh, ciao ciao from Italy.